Well, he punched him. Boom. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Happy Friday. Look, a couple things. This little jacket back there been living in my car because the weather changes so much. It's hot, cold, mild. You know, I was going to pay off this little car because he ain't going nowhere. But the truck in front of me, it was like a whole line of cars and it was a little opportunity for him to scoop back. And then when he punched it, he ran into like a wall. Not really, no, not a wall, but he, it, it was wasteful. He could have lost his life passing two or three cars just to get into a traffic jam, y'all. You know how I was? That's the law of attraction. You know, patience, mm -mm, ain't gonna work. So what I ain't gonna ever do is risk my life to get to nowhere. Not, not to your house, not to your party, and not to the workhouse, okay? It's gonna be there. I ain't going that way. <laughs> but not anywhere. You know, I'm not gonna risk my life, okay, to get anywhere. It's gonna be there, because I work at home sometimes on the weekend, a lot of that on holidays. So that man be forgetting what day it is. Hey, can we post this on social media? Man, it's Easter. <laughs> but anywho, I got on my Ivy Box uh, latest outfit of the day, windbreaker they called it, but it's the uh, pull over according to the paperwork. Pull over. But different names were hit by different people. And I got on the I don't know if they go together, but that's what I'm saying about the Ivy Storehouse. The color schemes go together. So I got on the cable knit pants. Okay, the cable knit pants and the jacket hangs enough that my snacks ain't out. You know what I'm saying? It ain't out at the act me a Hey, my snacks hanging out. You did now. Okay. Y'all. Look, I didn't even make it to get the day off because I made it to Friday. If you can make it to Friday, child, keep pushing because Friday normally really be normal. They normally chill. But I think we got an event online at 5 30 today. Ooh, child. But it's still virtual. Had a virtual meeting yesterday after work. I didn't even know it. I'm going to tell y'all. Okay, listen, etiquette. All this virtual, you know, I love it. I love that I don't have to leave my school building, run across town in traffic, missing lunch, trying to find a park to get to a meeting, to sit there, you know? So I hope the virtual meetings continue. It, it works. You get the learning, you get the engagement, you know what I'm saying? If they want you to turn the cameras on, fine. But, but when they tell you, please help us conserve data and bandwidth and everything by turning off your camera, Please turn off your camera. You, you know, we got the problem with the people forgetting to mute. Because sometimes when you're coming in, you know, coming in hot, you know, it, um, you might forget. You try to hurry up and get in there and you forget to turn the mute off, on, whatever. Okay. No, that's still in it. But same thing. But when you forget to turn your camera off, aren't you not, are you not paying attention to what you're doing and you were teaching again? But anyway, it irritated me yesterday because I had to listen to the meeting because I was not going to sit up at the work desk for an hour and a half when I could get in the car and go and listen to it. Of course, you know, I don't have my cord to plug it up into the uh, radio. But, so I had my AirPods on, okay? So I'm like, okay, I'll be able to, you know, listen and not miss anything if the road noise is too much. But I said, one earring. Child, when, I, when the meeting started, here goes somebody. Her name is somebody. Okay, I with a name. But, you know, here, comes, here goes somebody. Sitting up there with the camera on and looking foolish, if you ask me. When people got their camera on in one of these virtual meetings, that the, well, go ahead on my son. And, and Hyundai, ooh, speak, ooh, you about to hit the curb, y'all. It ain't that crucial. I, I, I know I'm a little zippy zippy, you know what I'm saying? Is there any paint left on my car? Oh, yo, ooh. ooh. If I had the, the uh, microphone hooked up, y'all to get that noise. Come on, little car, we got to make this light. Come on, push it. You better, ooh, channel. you got me going up under here. Thank goodness that little camera light on there. You know, when they send you the ticket up in the mail. But anywho, yeah. What am 
like flesh from this oh lord the man got me but that was just the jeep that's behind me now yeah i like the jeeps too but the door was off but you know i would have to be really strapped up i mean you know anyway most times people are looking really foolish they're just sitting there now this person i promise you i believe she knew that her camera was on because she was just sitting there had like a smirk on her face are you that detached from life that you are not aware that you can see yourself moving and not seeing the little avatars of other people and then when the moderator says cut your cameras off you still sitting there okay and then when you raise your hand to ask a question i don't know if it takes control and you become the center there you go it's so much that we've had to learn so fast with these um interaction with the the virtual meeting and it's someone who sometimes can be short patienced with foolishness or unawareness because i have to be so aware all the time and that's i think another thing that exhausts me why are you coming over here Child. I, I, you know i'm directing traffic paying attention to traffic and talking to y'all sometimes no, no bring it back over here now you don't Jump that from over there, and now you want to jump over here. Uh-uh. Ooh, now you want to make me mad. Be indecisive in traffic. Try, okay, she was in, the car was in this lane. Volvo was in this lane. Jumped over in another lane. And then decided, I want to jump over here. And now I'm jumped over there. And they are not from out of town. They are from right here. No excuses for, no. Nope. <laughs> How do you not? Uh uh, you cannot not know where you're going. I'm sorry. You can, but you know. either way, y'all. Now, let me tell you, I've been so addicted to these right here. A bag of wintergreen lightsaber. Well, they used to be. Ooh, my purse is in here. Look at that. Oh, my purse is in here. My wallet. Cause I don't need no money, but you know, you got to have that identification. I have no lunch. I don't feel like eating any lunch. I don't feel 100% today. Get that there. Did I show y'all? I don't think I showed y'all. My classic Michelle purse. It's like the uh, checkerboard, pink and green checkerboard. I got too much stuff in it. I really do. Too much stuff in it because it's heavy. And I don't even have my laptop in there. But guess what I'm not doing today? I am not whirling in. Can you see that pink and big, big luggage in there today? I'm not because it's Friday. But the very time I say I'm not, guess what? You'll be needing everything that's in there, you know? But, you know, they got me jammed up over here behind this agriculture car. Look at this. I'm about to fall out of the sky. Come on, little car. Go punch it so we can make this light. You know? Okay, thank you, little car. But don't you come over here where I'm trying to go now. But you are in the way. But yeah, y'all, no lunch. I went and got lunch yesterday, child. I was so disappointed. I was torn because yesterday was like uh, wing. Something kind of special for wings at this restaurant. So when I was out, I said, okay, two days in a row. Went to get some lunch with the card blanc okay Woo! but anywho if, i don't know if you've heard about card blanc yet but anyway if you haven't it's in my wallet y'all it's in my wallet okay but anywho um but i was disappointed with the pork chop i got a grilled pork chop sandwich and some onion rings i'm like okay cool that's gonna be so good it comes with a drink I paid eight dollars and eighteen cents. But dang, I could have got a, pork, a pack of pork chop for eight dollars. But you know, you pay for the convenience of, of not having to cook it, right? They just, you know, they open it up, let you see that is what you order. You know, I like that. When, especially when it's laid out, the burgers laid out, the lettuce, the tomato. Oh yeah, but I got a pork chop. When she opened that thing up, child, I almost gasped. Thank goodness I was wearing a mask. I was like, what is this dried up thing on this bun? Normally, the pork chop sandwiches is treated like a hamburger. It's normally like lettuce, tomato, pickle. You know, everything is dressed, you know? Oh, I see the dump truck up here coming in. No. Oh. But, um, mm -hmm. but you better punch it so the dump truck can't get back in front of me, but you cutting me off in traffic. 
But anyway, yeah, normally the, the pork chops is dressed, lettuce, tomato, onion, everything like a burger, you know, except, you know, I don't want mayonnaise on mine. And I get the condiments on the side. But, you know, she she opened that thing up. I was like, <gasps> and now, even though it's only $8.18, so or even, woo, $8.18, I'm not going to complain about my food and send it back at this point. You know, I don't do that. I mean, mm -mm, because you know why? It is what it is. Hey, I, I take that one. I take that one for the team and the tummy, child. Uh-uh, I ain't going to be having these folks waste no food on account of me. But what they don't do is get no more money from me. How about that? Looks like it's going to rain. I love that my windbreaker has the hood. Okay, I got my hat on. I was gonna wear my hair out today. I needed to retwist. I need to retwist my hair. I retwisted it. I think the night or day of my one year like anniversary, which was April the fourth. So somewhere around up in those two days, around that time, I retwisted. Now my arm is a lot better, so I'm hoping. I can retwist it, but when I did retwist, the product that I used was the um, melanin hair care twist, like whatever, and it didn't really hold my hair as well as my normal um, product, and so I probably, no, I'm sure I won't use that again. I will stick to what I know, so I need, so I need a good scrub down to my scalp and Maybe even steam my scalp, you know what I'm saying? And retwist my hair this weekend. Now when I get to this side, I know I always got to lean over and make it happen, you know, whatever. It's been some difficulties because, and I'm not looking for anybody to retwist my hair for me. No, I'm gonna, the best, at this point if I can, I'm gonna try to maintain it on my own. But child, trying to lift up this, Come over here, King Cal. And he muddy too, but he just been all out in the mud. Oh, hauling stuff. You know, does this ever happen to y'all? Look, another Audi. Look, Step MD. Oh, they get. Now, this one is a, a 3.4. I can't tell. I don't want A 3.4 or something. But it's got like a little stripe on it, like it might go real, real fast. Got the sunroof. Oh, y'all. Mm -mm. You're not gonna be able to see it because of the angles that I'm at. But, um, ooh, okay, if I were, which I'm not, come on, hope, baby, listen, close your ears. Okay, close your ears. If I were to get a new car or truck or wheels right now, what would I get? That car got an old tag on it. I mean, because the Mississippi tags have changed from that. Scared to run a light, you know what I'm saying? People be so bold that they have an old tag, an expired tag, right? Dirty, but you know, I, that ain't my life, you know what I'm saying? It ain't my life, I, I do what I can, <laughs> but I don't know because I, I don't know because I don't want a car, I don't want because I got other plans right now, and if not to have a car payment, so, you know, I, everywhere I go, I've been seeing the Audi. I mean, I like I told y'all, I love the Audi, but. What else have I seen? But then y'all know I saw the Hyundai something, the Genesis or something. Yeah, you know I like that one. It was smooth. But then it's a couple, it's a, it's a couple of Hyundai that I like. Like a, a little one, it's like a, I don't know if they still make them or not. What do call? I don't know, it's like a little sports car. But I, I always feel like I need to have room in my car because I like to shop and go to Ikea and get big stuff and y'all, what used to tickle me is going to Ikea on the weekend, especially a Saturday when it's crunk and people all over the state and the tri area everywhere have come to this area, to Memphis, to go shop at Ikea and they forget or they didn't know when they got up in there, it was going to be everything that they needed and child, I'm sorry for laughing. I like the little Volkswagen, uh, but they don't make those Beatles anymore. I would get a convertible pink one, custom color, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, anyway, people got the trunk unpacked, child. They done took the jack, the spare, 
the seats folded down, the baby carriage on top of the car. Like, you've got to plan. And I'm, look, if you're going to Ikea for the first time, or if you're going to shop, or even if you went to, make sure you take the bigger vehicle that you own. Don't take the whole family to shop. If you live in an Ikea area, go to Ikea on a Saturday and just troll the parking lot. And y'all, you are going to get a good laugh. You're going to see all kinds. You're going to see SUVs. You're going to see people in a little car trying to stuff in all kinds of stuff in their baby carriages sit on top of the roof. No baby in there. Baby is cute. Um, and what else? Oh, then you'll see the veterans. The veterans are in there with the U-Haul trucks because they know, hey, I'm coming here to get a whole lot of stuff, okay? It used to be that we, the mailman and I would see people struggling like, man, look at them. You want us to drop uh, y'all stuff off at y'all place? <laughs> When you go to Ikea for the first time, do not get your the shopping cart. Like when you go to a regular grocery store shopping area, there's a, a cart in there already. Don't get the cart because you first got to walk through the Ikea maze. And so you're walking through the maze and you're looking and you're not putting a lot of things in your cart right away. So that basket or that shopping cart is going to slow you down. It's gonna slow you down. So don't get the shopping cart. Then when you get to like the middle of the store, there's another little area for shopping cart. You might, I'm trying to make this light job. You might wanna grab a cart, okay, you might. But it's not until you get into the marketplace that you wanna get the pallets, okay? Then you can start picking the stuff that you can to get. Now, when you're walking through, sometimes you'll do these little items, like, you know, um, when you walk to the kitchen goods or the lighting section, you can get a cart, like a little shopping basket midway. But, um, yeah, child, I zip, zip, zip through Ikea cartless until I get to where I'm going. Then I've learned to cut through. If I'm not trying to do a tour and walk free, 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 2020, I will go through there and just zip, zip, zip just to get what I needed. Um, you know, the little doors you can enter, you know, like a little maze to cut through. And yeah, I was, I know how to get in and out. It was always good exercise for me. I do appreciate y'all for uh, tuning in. And I know that some of y'all, like I said, like the longer vlogs and you, you, you dip in, you dip out. I appreciate that. And I like longer vlogs, and I'm some of my favorite creators too, when I'm cleaning, you know, or if I am um, just watching on TV. I don't, when you download the YouTube app, you can thumbs up when you download the YouTube app for your smart TV or your Roku or your um, Fire Fire thing. And you can watch the chat roll by if it's a live video. So if y'all are watching, and you're a content creator and you don't see a comment from me, it's because I'm normally watching on television or my TV and there's no comment app, but I always make sure that I thumbs up the video. All right, y'all, I got this.